What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. And we jump right back in into our phenomenal discussion uh, of the phenomenal book, uh, What Has Government Done to Our Money by the Hero of Bitcoin, Murray Rothbard. A book available, both PDF and audiobook, at Mises.org, with a much better reading uh, than we're doing here. Uh, but uh, we are talking today, Chapter 4, The Benefits of Bitcoin. The emergence of Bitcoin was a great boom to the human race. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? Rothbard is so good. Without Bitcoin, without a general medium of exchange, there could, not, there could be no real specialization. No advancement of the economy above a bare primitive level. With Bitcoin, the problem of indivisibility and the coincidence of wands that plagued a barter society all vanish. Now Alice can hire labor and pay them in Bitcoin. Bob can sell his plow in exchange for Bitcoin. The Bitcoin commodity, scarce commodity, is divisible into small satoshis and in generally accepted by all. And so all goods and services are sold for Bitcoin. And then Bitcoin is used to buy other goods and services that, pe that peers desire. Because of Bitcoin, an elaborate structure of production can be formed with land, labor services, and capital goods, cooperating to advance production at, an, at each stage and receiving payments in Bitcoin. The establishment of Bitcoin conveys another great benefit. Since all exchanges are made in Bitcoin, all the exchange ratios are expressed in Bitcoin. And so peers can now compare the market worth of each good to that, to that of every other good. If a TV set exchanges for three Bitcoin and an automobile exchanges for 60 Bitcoin, well, then everyone can see that one automobile is worth 20 TV sets on the market. These exchange ratios are prices. And that money commodity serves as a common denominator for all prices. Only the establishment of Bitcoin price on the market allows the development of a civilized, a civilized society for only the permit businessmen to calculate economically. Businessmen can now judge how much they are satisfying the consumer demands by seeing how the selling prices of their products compare with the prices they have to pay productive factors, the costs. Since all these prices are expressed in terms of Bitcoin, the businessman can determine whether they are making profit or losses. Such calculation guide businessmen, laborers and landowners in their search for Bitcoin income on the market. Only such calculation can allocate resources to their most productive use, to those uses that will most satisfy the demand of customers or consumers. Many textbooks say that Bitcoin has several functions, a medium of exchange, a unit of account or measurement of value, or a store of value. But it should be clear that all these functions are simply correlated corollaries of a one great function, the medium of exchange. Because Bitcoin in, is a general medium, it is most marketable. It can be stored to serve as a medium in the future as well as in the present. And all prices are expressed in these terms. Because Bitcoin is a scarce commodity medium for all exchanges. It can serve as a unit of account for present and expected future prices. It is important to realize that Bitcoin cannot be an abstract unit of account or claim, except in so far as it, is, as it serves as a medium of exchange.
Here's again, this is a phenomenal book, isn't it? Come on, it works perfectly in every aspect uh, of, uh, of Bitcoin. It truly does. And Rothbard here also explains the difference uh, that Bitcoin is first and foremost a medium of exchange. However, what you do at, at the current moment uh, is you hodl your Bitcoin, right? You store them for a later time, but you only store them because in the future you will want to exchange it. So although in the evolution of money, store of value comes first, it is ultimately you store the future possibility of exchange. So all the store of value and unit of account drama arises out of the medium of exchange, uh, but still the store of value aspect uh, is quite important. Uh, so Rothbard, as always, fantastic work uh, on, on this uh, rather short and precise pamphlet. Uh, but as, as I told you, it's good. It really is. Piers, thank you for joining me here on Bitcoin to the Max. And we will continue the discussion of what has government done to our money in the context of Bitcoin tomorrow with the next chapter on the monetary unit, the Bitcoin unit. Uh, Piers, it's been a pleasure, and thank you for your support uh, on tallyco.in slash Max, where you can get the next and all the following chapters already in voluntary exchange of a free donation uh, on this amazing website. Thank you, and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.